Hello chess lovers, as you remember a year ago DeepMind shocked the world by releasing Alpha Zero, which after just 4 hours of training was playing at a higher LO rating than Stockfish 8, and after 9 hours of training the algorithm decisively defeated Stockfish 8 in a time-controlled 100 game tournament, scoring 28 wins, 0 losses and 72 draws. And now, a year later, DeepMind has released astounding results from an updated version of the machine learning chess project. The 1000 game match was played in early 2018. In the match, both Alpha Zero and Stockfish were given 3 hours each plus 15 second increment per move. The updated Alpha Zero crushed Stockfish 8 in a new 1000 game match, scoring 155 wins. 6 losses and 839 draws. In this video I would like to share a beautiful game chosen from that encounter. Let's have a look what happened on the board. Alpha Zero had white pieces and it opened up with knight f3, e6 by Stockfish 8, c4, white goes for the English opening, knight c3, bishop b4, queen c2, black castles, king side a3, Bishop takes c3, queen takes c3, d6, b4, white is advancing on the queen side and at the same time is preparing to think to his dark squared bishop, knight d7, e3, rook e8, d3, knight f8, bishop e2, nothing special, both players are developing their pieces, white castles, king side, bishop g4, h3, bishop h5, queen c2, h6, bishop c3, b6 and b5. White is locking up the queen side, knight d7. This time we see rook d1. The rook will support the d2 march forward, knight c5 and bishop a1. The bishop will support white queen from behind, bishop g6, queen b2, knight a4, queen e2, knight c5 and finally d4 is on the board, white wants to open up the position, e takes d4, knight takes d4, bishop e4, bishop f3 and after bishop takes f3, alpha 0 made a highly imaginative move. In here from a human perspective of course it's normal to recapture with a knight without allowing black to damage white's king side but after bishop takes f3 believe it or not but alpha zero recaptured with the pawn look at this craziness guys he's allowing the damage of his pawn structure on the king side but with this move, Alpha Zero is managing to open up the G file for the rook. Let's see how is this madness going to end up. Knight e6, king h2, white free to the g1 square for the rook. We see the exchange of knights on d4 square. King h7, now comes queen c2 check. g6, rook f4, gradually white is starting to activate his pieces. Queen e7, and the second rook is coming. Rook g1, rook g8. This time h4, h5, rook g5, already the threat is rook takes h5, that's why king h6 is on the board, and e4, white is allowing black to fork his rooks, knight e6 is on the board, look at this guys, another powerful idea by alpha 0, rook f6, knight takes g5, h takes g5 check, king h7. Of course not king takes g5 because in this case black king can get checkmated on the spot. After h takes g5 we have king h7, f4, rook e8, queen d3, rook g7, of course not queen takes e4 because there is this rook takes f7 check. That's why after queen d3 black is first over protecting the pawn on f7 and already is threatening to win the e pawn. That's why we have f3, king g8, queen d4, king f8. Bishop c3, rook g8, a4, rook d8, king h3. A question arises, where is this white king going? Rook d7, f5, g takes f5, rook takes f5. White managed to create a weakness on h file. Queen e6, and now comes king h4. Look at these guys. White king is coming to munch this pawn on h5. 
Rook e7, Queen d5. White is offering an exchange of queens. Rook g6 and King takes h5. This is a total madness, guys. According to Alpha Zero, not only the king is the best attacking piece in the end game, but also in the middle game. Rook e8, Bishop f6, Queen d7. King g4, rook c8, queen c6. Will we see the exchange of queens? Yes, queen takes e8, check, king takes e8, rook d5. And now this white pawns will march forward, crushing everything on their way. Rook takes f6 was played. Black is giving back the rook. But if we move like rook g8, then in this case, again, there is not much black can do. These pawns are marching forward and then rook h1, the rook will penetrate the 7 franc and black is in trouble. In our game after rook d5 we have rook takes f6 but even this can't help black. g takes f6 is on the board, now comes white king, king f5, c6, b takes c6, check, king takes c6, f4, rook h8 and believe it or not but after e5 stockfish 8 resigned. Let's have a look at one of the possible lines how white can finish up black. With an extra pawn and a very active position, of course this is an easy win for white. That's why on move 56 Stockfish resigned and then king g6 it's over guys. That's why, as I've already mentioned after e5 Stockfish 8 resigned. This was a very beautiful game, I think. First, we saw that highly creative g takes f3 move, where white allowed the damage of his pawn structure on the king's side, but with the help of that move opened up the g file, started putting pressure on black's king's side, and then went for an exchange sacrifice, and then went for a king walk, and finally, with a total pressing, managed to force his opponent to copy too late. Thanks for watching, I hope that you enjoyed this game. For more games consider subscribing to my channel. Also press the bell button to get notified about new uploads. I will see you in the next video. Good luck.